Welcome, Welcome to Own or Disown, where tech decisions are made easy. Have you had a situation whereby you've had electrical equipment damaged by fluctuations of power or you need to keep a system running when the power goes out? Well, perhaps you should consider a good UPS system, which leads me to a sponsored review by Golden Mate. Now, they sent me their UPS or uninterrupted power supply, which is rated for an apparent power of 1000 volt amps and real power of 800 watts and costs $160. And I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, I used to use an APC unit that could power my TV and home theater PC for about 20 minutes if, the, if I experienced a power failure, which gave me enough time to shut the system down safely. It uses a lithium iron phosphate battery, which means it offers many more charge cycles compared to a lithium iron battery that is in your cell phone. As such, Goldomate says it has a lifespan of over 10 years and more than 5,000 charge cycles. That is a lot. Rest assured, it's going to last you a long time and there'll be no need to replace the battery. In fact, Golden Mate offers a five-year warranty and has 24-7 assistance. Such systems are great to protect your home and offer secure computer systems from power surges like I had once when I had a thunderstorm and that caused the power to go out and it fried my Alienware desktop. It is a convenient way to protect from fluctuations in voltage, noise interference and harmonic distortion. Unlike some other EI UPSs, Golden Mate has a built-in BMS or battery management system and that's, this protects the battery from an overload situation. The details of which are clearly shown in their included manual. Now at the back of the unit, there is a handy overload protection switch, so it can be reset. And alongside that, there is a debugging communication interface. Also at the back are four NEMA 5-15P sockets that are at an angle. And this helps when you use a power brick that would otherwise block the socket below it. The housing is made of white plastic. That's rather clean looking, I think. And at just under six inches high, four inches deep and 13 inches long, it fits nicely on a desk or on the floor. Now, in terms of working environment, it is okay with an ambient temperature of zero to 40 degrees Celsius and a relative humidity of 20 to 90%. At the front is a handy LCD display which shows the input and output AC voltage and the input and output power, along with a picture of the battery showing five stages of charge or discharge. And it does use a fan to cool it. And this leads to the only issue that I actually had with it. When in main power mode, so when you have your power going into it and all of your devices connected and running, the fan never came on, which was great. Now, I was using a desktop with an RTX 4070 pulling 140 watts. A CPU was i7-13700F, not pulled 105 watts for a combined load of 343 watts. Now, the problem is when the input power goes out, the UPS takes over the the, the supply flawlessly, which is good, and the fan does kick in. And that's about 50 decibels of noise. So about the same as a gaming laptop with max fans. Now this would be okay if the fan stops when the input power comes back on again, but for me, the only way to stop it um, was to turn the unit uh, off and back on again. Now this may be okay if you experience power outages perhaps two or three times a year, but if it happens often, then this would be inconvenient. Now I do believe it must be an issue with my unit because I checked reviews on Amazon and most of those said that the fan did turn off. I wouldn't recommend it for a bedroom or even in the living room. It would be rather loud. But for an office or server in a separate room, it would be fine. As the battery is discharging, the UPS beeps every five seconds and the green light at the front flashes. As the UPS battery is approaching a critically low level, it then beeps every two seconds. And you still have plenty of time to turn your system off safely. My test was pulling about 340 watts and at no time did I lose my any frame rate. I was actually able to play for 31 minutes in this situation, so if you have something less powerful, you should be able to get a good runtime out of this UPS. Now it does take a few hours to fully charge it again, so I left it overnight. And it's not recommended to leave it in a discharge state for over 12, 12 hours, so it can maintain a good charge capacity. Now I do think, you know, a UPS is a great uh, idea and you know, I wish I had one when that Alienware rig got fried. This 800 watt unit is good to power 340 watts for 30 minutes, which I thought was very good value. And for $160, you know, it sure beats the hassle and cost of damaging your expensive systems. Now sort out that fan noise and Golemate would have a winner on its hands.